I would use for this design a frame that I can take uh, into the garden or you know to, into a different room but if you would like to have all your colours around you on the dining room table if you have space to do that or a spare bedroom you can put it all out on the bed then uh, find a table and have a barrel clamp which is very popular with all the uh, tutors that we work with for our retreats so what you need there is a table that's actually um now did we measure this to be uh shorter than two inches we had a little discussion about this uh yeah it's an inch and a half from the inside to the base and i do use a bevels table in the um in the dog room where we stitch quite often in the breakfast room if it's uh, going to have a posh name and that is actually three millimeters deep if i do it in millimeters it's more accurate and four well just under four millimeters uh depth that way so height so just four high and three deep so if you could just measure your table that might be a fantastic thing to use because obviously you can pop your work on your frame and you can have a dedicated area to make this Christmas stocking. And I think my dedicated area is going to be in the dog room where I have space. Um, now, the other sort of frame. So you need as big a frame as possible because you obviously want to uh, have a large area covered when you're doing this laden couch work. Um, the other way of using a frame is actually to have a roller bar frame because that would be fantastic but I personally find it quite difficult to get those really tight or a slate frame which is really really tight as well so that is what we need you need lots of really nice sharp pencils when you're drawing it out you need a frame you need lots of odds and ends of colours and you need to download the design from our website and from the mail shirt. Philippa yes this will be a question. Why are you using a bone frame? Ah, oh, well, this is actually one that I used earlier. Um, I didn't, I, don't, I never bound frame, bind frames normally, but this is a thing that lots of people love doing. And um, I think they're a bit unhygienic. <laughs> I like to use an ordinary frame with saran wrap, but uh, think about these things, you bind them, they get pretty mucky, and then you have to take this off and rebind them. And it's just sort of a bit of a faff. But it's a thing, people love it, and it means that you don't um, scorch your fabric and it keeps it very tight. <laughs>